Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette. Here with the survey results video, I wanted to share these with you guys so you can see uh, how other people responded because uh, these these responses are going to affect what you see on the channel. Um, I want to you know post them, the stuff you guys want to see, uh, so I'll, I'm going to kind of take your advice into account. So really appreciate everyone who filled out the survey. If you haven't filled it out yet, you still can. I'll still check the results. Um, they won't be in this video, but uh, I'm still going to take a look at it. So if you haven't, feel free to keep doing that. I'll check in a number of times in the future. Um, I'm going to show a few graphics of kind of the responses. I like statistics. I'm kind of into uh, making graphs of stuff, etc. So it's cool to see um, your responses in pie charts and bar graphs, etc. So I'll show those uh, throughout the video. Anyway, though, let's just go through the questions, talk about your answers. Um, the first thing, obviously, was the name. I asked if you guys wanted to leave your uh, account name. I could identify who you were uh, based on some of the comments you've made in the videos, if you've been commenting a lot. Just an optional thing if you wanted me to know that. Uh, so a number of you guys did, some of you guys didn't. Not a big deal. Uh, let's move on to the next one. I asked you guys how long have you been a subscriber slash viewer. And uh, this is the pie chart that shows the distribution of all the answers. Uh, most people are in that one to three month zone, and I the channel did grow a lot, so I can see how that would be a popular area. A lot of growth at, during that time. Um, a lot of people less than a month too, uh, which was second most, so welcome to all the new subscribers. Hope you like the channel so far. And then uh, the last kind of quarter, maybe a little bit less than a quarter, uh, we have a 14 and a 9, or a 14 and a 6% about. Um, those people are less than six months, or sorry, more than, yeah, what am I saying? Those people are more than, f okay, come on, here we go. Those people are more than four months, and of that 6% are more than six months. So um, not the huge uh, continual viewership, but still a substantial number of you guys have been along, around for a long time, so I really appreciate that uh, for some of you guys who have been here since you know, up to over a year ago. I didn't, you know, specify that farther back, but I know some of you guys, I can recognize you from the comments from over a year ago, which is cool. Thanks for sticking with the channel this long. It's awesome to see that. Uh, but anyway, moving along, I asked you guys how you heard about the channel. Uh, this helps me kind of see where people are viewing my channel. It can help me uh, try to get my videos out there to more people. Uh, the main three places that people uh, kind of heard about my channel from were the comments on either Jake's video or some other video, um, just kind of me interacting out there in other people's platforms, uh, recommended videos on YouTube, so just the suggested on the side or whatever, and then just kind of word of mouth from one hive, from a clan mate, for a, from a friend, something like that. Um, as far as the comments go, uh, you guys might have noticed, I think there was a, a little while, maybe a few months ago, where my comments were uh, some of the top ones on Jake's videos if you watch One Hive Raids. And that was mainly because there was a period of time where my schedule worked out so that when it, right when I woke up, he had just uploaded a video. Like I set my alarm for six o'clock and that's right when he uploaded a video, my time. So uh, I'd go in, I'd watch it, and sometimes I'd comment. And because I was one of the first people to watch it, I think my comment got liked a lot and replied to a lot. So that made it the top comment a lot of the time. Uh, it doesn't happen quite as much anymore just based on my schedule, uh, but sometimes I am one of the first people, and if I do drop a comment, a lot of people see it and check out my channel, which is cool. Um, I'm not trying to, you know, spam his videos or anything, but when I have something to say, I usually drop it in the comments, and if that leads people to my channel, that's great. So I know a number of you guys are from Jake's channel, and I hope you continue to watch his videos. I still watch most of his videos because uh, I like what he uploads, and uh, my videos are somewhat similar, a little bit different. Um, so hope you guys enjoy both the channels. And if you guys don't watch Jake, I could recommend him uh, as another YouTuber that has uh, war-type Clash of Clans gameplay and stuff. So anyway, um, and then also it's great that YouTube uh, has my videos as recommended videos. It shows that my channel is kind of being viewed as an active, uh, somewhat of a medium-sized channel. Uh, that makes YouTube, you know, make it the recommended videos more. And then word of mouth at One Hive is great. Um, if you guys heard from a clan mate, it's always nice to see people kind of spreading my channel on their own initiative. So thanks for you guys who have told other people about my channel. That really helps me gain viewers. Um, so anyway, 
moving on to the next question, uh, it was, let me look right here. It was how many videos do you guys watch on average of what I upload? And uh, a solid majority of you guys, or not the majority, but the, the most popular answer, I guess I should say, was about 40% for every upload, uh, which is great. Um, I love the people that you know are dedicated to the channel watching every video. It's cool to see that. I see you guys in the comments a lot. Um, and then another big chunk of you guys, about a quarter, said they watch more than 75%. So maybe everything except, you know, the occasional, if there's one series you're not a big fan of or something, or if you just, you know, are busy, you know, I get it. It's hard to be religiously watching videos like this. Um, and then the 50 to 75% range, still a solid majority of my videos, was another quarter, and just kind of a sliver uh, was the bottom two categories. Now, they might be kind of underrepresented because they're probably not watching this video, and they probably didn't take the survey if they're only watching, you know, one in three or four videos. So it might be higher, who knows. But uh, at least the people who took the survey, these were the results. Um, the next question was, how old are you? Uh, pretty spread out. I had probably the majority would be in the older teenage range, so like 15 to 19 maybe, and then still a lot of you guys are up in the 20s, 30s, and even 40s, so a nice spread out age range, which is nice, brings new uh, perspective maybe to the channel, I'm not sure, but it's cool to see viewers at a, different, a lot of different ages, uh, so that's cool. Um, next question was, I asked about your favorite series, and I'll let you guys just check any that applied. So uh, the most common was Live Attacks, um, and then looks like everything else was kind of, I mean, kind of similar. Clash 101 was one of the lower ones, and same with Live on Battle Day. Um, but after kind of looking at this and looking at some of the written responses you guys gave, I determined there's kind of like three different groups of people. There's the people that like the Live Attacks, Live on Battle Day stuff. They want the live content. There's another group of people that want more of the technical videos, which could include, uh, you know, base tips, uh, attack strategies, just stuff that you take something away. There's like a message, some tips, maybe something you didn't know. That's another solid group of people. And then there's people that just like the war recaps. That was a somewhat popular. I mean, half of you guys put that as one of your favorites. So uh, people just like seeing attacks, I guess, uh, at all town hall levels. I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, those are three solid groups. And uh, as far as the least favorite goes, that's the graphic of it. Um, you know, a few people, the most popular were the opinionate, opinionated videos, war recaps, and then the base design and tips. Um, although a lot of people did put that as their favorite too. So um, if anything, this tells me that you guys are, a lot of you guys like different stuff. I'm not going to stop any uh, series, series is, whatever the plural of that is. I'm not going to stop making any lines of videos because... Uh, a lot of you guys have different preferences, and obviously I can't please everyone, but um, I want to make sure that your favorite uh, types of videos are still coming out, so I'll make sure to upload regularly, and let's say if you like live attacks and stuff, um, I'll make sure to try to do, you know, two live attacks maybe, and if I can, a live on battle, or a live on war day, whatever I call it, a live on war day video, um, so you guys get the live content, I'll also try to do, you know, a few war recaps per week, a few opinion opinionated videos, Maybe just one of those, and then some more technical base design Clash 101. I'll try to keep it balanced on the channel because uh, you guys like different stuff. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute, but um, those were the results for the favorite uh, types of videos. Uh, then I'll, I'll just talk about all the free response now because there were three different things. Uh, there was the what you like that's going on right now, what you want to have added, and then any additional comments. I'll get to the fundraising uh, stuff in just a moment. I'll talk about that last. But anyway, uh, of the written things that you guys guys gave me, I'll just address a few topics that were brought up that I saw people talking about a lot, a few questions and stuff like that. Um, the first one was actually people talked about my commentating, kind of my speech and stuff. A few people said, say, um, less, have more confidence stuff like that. As far as the confidence goes, um, I'm not terribly enthusiastic, especially when I'm just sitting here recording. So I'm not like Chief Pat or anything where you can just feel the enthusiasm dripping out of me. Uh, so unfortunately, you're kind of stuck with me. This is who I am. I'm not going to try to pretend to be enthusiastic about some attacks, although you might get a little flavor in my live attack videos 
when something goes wrong. As far as the um, I, I know I do say um quite a bit. I've gotten a lot better. I used to say it a lot more, but it, it's, it's hard on YouTube, you know, when I'm just trying to come up with this stuff on the spot. I'm not reading a script. This is all in one take usually. Most of my videos are, so don't have time to stop and kind of get myself together. Have to just keep going one long uh, rant or one long soliloquy, whatever you want to call it. So I'm doing my best to, you know, keep the commentating fluid, but I, I am going to, you know, stutter and say stuff. It just happens. It happens to a lot of YouTubers, especially younger people. I don't know why. It's just a younger person problem. So guys got to deal with it, but I, I'm getting better, I think. You can go back and watch some of my older videos, and uh, I might sound not quite as fluid, so hopefully I've gotten better. Anyway, uh, another thing people talked about was adding an intro or an outro to my channel. A lot of channels have, like, you know, a little, for example, One Hive Gazette uh, animation at the beginning, and that's just kind of a time thing. I, it, it would take more time to do this. I'd have to, first of all, make one, then I'd have to, on each video, add it. So I'd have to download everything into iMovie, add the intro. Uh, that might screw up some of the uh, video format because some of the video format might be different dimensions than the actual intro, which could complicate things. So it's it's not th something that I think you guys care about that much. I know people have asked about it, but it's kind of just a quality, you know, fun thing to have. I don't think it adds anything that much to the channel. So I probably are not going to have that, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a little later because there is a possibility where I could add one. Uh, let's see. Some of you guys talked about modding, um, like my opinionated videos I make where I talk about uh, what I think of modding. And some of you guys said I'm being too soft on modders. Basically, what you've seen on my channel recently are different perspectives, different ways I'm looking at modding, you know, how Supercell thinks of it interviewing a modder, stuff like that. I could make a video where I rant about how I think modders are hurting the game, especially for the fair play community, but I'm not going to. It's already been said. I want to bring you guys something that is interesting, something you might not have heard before. So I'm just as hard on modders as the next guy. Most of the people at OneHive have similar views to me, I think. Um, not always, though. I don't speak for OneHive, but I'm, I'm not far from what they think. So don't misinterpret what I'm saying as me promoting modding or anything. I'm just showing different viewpoints of it, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty hard on modders, although I will, you know, interview them. It's nothing personal, so that's why I know I have a lot of subscribers who are modders, which is fine. I don't mind it. Um, it I disagree with how you play the game, but I can talk about it with you. I'm not going to have it be personal unless you start making it personal, so unfortunately, um, I'm not going to do a ranting video against modding for you guys who want to see it, but just know that I'm not a big fan of modding in general. A few guys mentioned that I should focus more on base design videos, and uh, that's kind of my unique thing I do, that not many other YouTubers uh, make those videos, but unfortunately, that's not kind of my my thing. I do make quite a bit of them, and I've, I've been making more recently. It's just that other people have been liking the live attacks, the war recaps, and I don't want to exclusively focus on base design, just because... From the survey, that's not the majority of people uh, just want to see that. People want to see other stuff too. So I, if you haven't noticed, I've been making more of them because they've been popular, but I'm not going to exclusively do that. So unfortunately, for those of you who want to see that, um, I'm still going to keep the other videos up. But you will see quite a bit of different base tips. And especially as I go to Town Hall 10, you'll see Town Hall 10 base builds probably, etc. So another thing that was brought up was the coverage of Town Hall 8s, Town Hall 11s, Town Hall 10s, because I do focus on Town Hall 9s a little bit on my channel, and the problem with Town Hall 8s is that we don't have many Town Hall 8s in Genesis. Typically only for arranged wars do we have Town Hall 8s if the other clan uh, wants to use Town Hall 8s, because all the 8s are in, I think, Alpha, so I don't have a whole lot of gameplay, but whenever I see some Town Hall 8 action, I'll be sure to show it, because I know you guys want to see that, uh, but the game's kind of shifting upwards a little bit. So not going to see that much Town Hall 8 stuff, but you will see the occasional Town Hall 8 attacks and some of the recaps of the arranged wars for sure. Town Hall 9 is obviously being covered a lot. Town Hall 10 action, you guys want to see more of that. I am going to Town Hall 10, so you'll see some live attacks from a Town Hall 10. And I'll also try to focus a little more on Town Hall 10 when I can in some of these war recaps if we have some good three stars by Town Hall 10s. 
So you'll see some of that action. And we're also getting some 11s in Genesis 2. So you guys will see Town Hall 11 stuff. Um, I'm going to cover 9 through 11 and uh, 8s occasionally, pretty much. So hopefully that fits in with what you guys want to see. That's basically the response I've been getting so far. Uh, final topics was interaction with other YouTubers and stuff. I would love to do a video with Jake or something. I think it would help get my channel out there to more people. And uh, it would be interesting to talk to him um, or even other YouTubers. Unfortunately, you know, those guys are busy. So I, I'm not able to do that. And as far as interviewing just regular people doing, you know, live with doing live attacks where other people are doing the attack, it, it's just kind of a time thing. It's hard to coordinate that, you know, use the software to get, you know, their audio and then their their screen on the on the recording. It's just kind of a thing, a, hoop, a few hoops I have to jump through to get that done. And I'm trying to keep this channel kind of a hobby. I don't want to have to spend a lot of time coordinating, you know, who's going to be on the channel. It makes it easier just for it to be kind of my my commentation, me commentating on these videos. I'm not sure how you say that. Um, as far as, it, rather than bringing other people on the channel. So I know you guys would like to see that. And if I get the opportunity, I'm sure I will. But it's not the most convenient thing to do. So you're not going to see a whole lot of other people like on the channel for interviews or live attacks and stuff. That's just kind of how it is. Um, those are the topics that were mainly discussed. I want to talk about the donation question. I'll go ahead and throw the graphic up for your guys' responses. Um, I probably should just talk about the finances of the channel in general. I've never addressed this in any other video, but I feel like it's kind of time to do that now since I had that question on the survey. Um, I'll kind of start at the beginning, I guess. As far as any kind of regular donation, because a lot of other channels do Patreon and have like a regular uh, opportunity for people to pay to see what they want to see on the channel and uh, to support the the person who makes the videos and that's different for some channels like Jake's channel again if you watch that um, he's an adult he has a job he's supporting a family he's taking a lot of time out of his day to kind of make these high quality videos he has an intro uh, high quality editing etc a little bit better than what I have and uh, it makes sense for him to have a regular monthly opportunity to, to fund his channel because he's this is valuable time he's taking. For me, it's more of a hobby. I don't consider it a job. I have fun doing it. And uh, I have bought, you know, a computer a while back. I did buy an iPad, a new microphone. This stuff isn't just for Clash of Clans, but it is used a lot for the channel. And I don't consider that to be your guys' cost. I mean, this is, this is stuff I'm buying. So you guys shouldn't have to, you know, pay for this or anything. It's completely my decision to buy stuff to make the videos better. And uh, I think just your viewership is pretty much enough. I don't ask for any kind of regular thing. I'm not going to have a Patreon. Uh, just because I don't feel like you guys should have to pay to watch my videos. This should be something uh, on YouTube that's obviously free. That you can just come in and watch. I can interact with you guys. It's more of a hobby for me. Um, as far as why I you know, kind of asked if you guys wanted to donate to the channel. and the, um, It's basically because this is a one-time upgrade I'm doing. And... This is the opportunity, I think, I want to give you guys a chance to donate back to the channel if it's something you really like and you want to support, because this is the one time where it would help a lot to have um, some extra money to spend on gems and stuff. I am going to spend a little bit of my own money, but I don't want to have to invest a whole lot for this upgrade. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't like gemming. The, the thing is, though, at Town Hall 10, uh, once you're in New Town Hall 10, you have to gem the Spell Factory, obviously because, you know, you need your spells, you, you know, it's going to sit at war for like two weeks or whatever. Um, and another thing is I gem my heroes for war. If you're in one hive, you kind of have to. And that's kind of a monthly expense. I have to spend 10 bucks a month gemming heroes. Nothing big. That's a really small amount. But it's another thing that I have to pay for on a regular basis. But I, once again, this is part of my gameplay. It doesn't relate to the YouTube channel. I'm not asking, I'm not asking you guys to pay for that. Um, I'm asking uh, for donations if you guys want to help my Town Hall 10 upgrade go quicker. I think it might make the live attacks more interesting because new Town Hall 10s typically just go for two stars in some of the top bases. Uh, once I get my troops upgraded a little bit more, I can go for three stars. I think that might make some of the gameplay more interesting that you see regarding the live attacks and stuff. Um, and I understand people can't for tons of different reasons, 
Um, I know some of you guys are not financially independent. You're, you know, still living with your parents because you're a teenager or you're at college. You know, you, you can't donate. Totally get that. And uh, some people, you know, times are tough. They're, they're tight on money. Uh, don't feel obligated. I know a few, guys, a few of you guys were kind of apologizing. No need to apologize. Don't feel obligated or anything. This is completely uh, voluntary. I wasn't expecting a whole lot. Um, and then another thing is people don't gem their accounts. So they kind of said, hey, why would I pay for you to gem your account? I get that too. If you don't like gemming, if you don't believe in it, um, you know, don't feel obligated to pay for me to gem my account. This is just an opportunity if you feel like it's something you want to do. Uh, so I was thinking about what I want to do with this because as you guys saw, there's a, you know, a number of people, I think like 12 or something that were willing to donate, um, which is awesome. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm glad you like the channel and that you're willing to help invest in it. Um, so what I am going to do is I'm going to just leave my email open. I'm not going to start a GoFundMe. That's more for serious stuff. I don't want to have a, you know, fund me to play this game, GoFundMe. And I don't want to start a Kickstarter or anything like that, especially because you never really know where the money's going online. You know, you're just donating to some random person who you watch on YouTube. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to have my email open. Uh, onehivegazette at gmail.com. I'll, I'll put it in the description uh, for the spelling if you guys have trouble with that. Um, and you can email me a gift card if you want. You can email me channel art, uh, an intro maybe, if you guys want to take the time to make an intro. That's when I might consider adding an intro. If you guys are nice enough to uh, volunteer to make one for me, I'll, I'll probably put it up if it's a decent intro. It takes maybe 10 minutes longer, 15 minutes longer when I'm editing it, but I can make it work on most of my videos, especially if you guys, you know, make a high quality intro or an outro, channel art, stuff like that. So I'm not going to talk about this in my other videos. I'm not going to be like, hey, give me money every week. Uh, this is just a one-time thing. So in, over the course of the next week or two, if you guys, you know, are feeling generous and you have the ability to do so and you want to do so, don't feel obligated to do so. But if you do, if you want to fund the channel and invest in it, uh, you can go ahead and shoot me an email, email me the code of the gift card or whatever if you want to give me money or you can give me uh, channel art, stuff like that, because uh, my my banner on my YouTube channel doesn't fit right, so it just shows the One Hive Gazette. It doesn't really show the, uh, the rest of the stuff that I made, so not the best channel art person, but anyway though, that's how you can support the channel. Uh, for those of you guys who said you might be interested in doing so, no obligation. Um, I'm still going to keep making videos regardless of what you guys do, so don't feel like you have to. It's just an opportunity to do so if you want to. Anyway though, those are the results. I wanted to share them with you guys so you could uh, see how this will affect the channel and kind of where we're at right now. So hope this gave you guys some perspective as far as what's going to be coming up soon and what kind of videos you'll be seeing. Uh, really appreciate your guys' responses once again. Still, if you haven't already, you can still complete the survey. I'll still take a look at your responses. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. Kind of a long one, but a lot of info in it. And uh, I'll see you guys later. More content coming, as always, by Sectatron out.